I have to do every little tiny thing. Uh, just take, just there. Take the damn money. Thank you. Nope. Yeah, I don't listen to him. I don't want to. No. Taxi. There we go. Let's get in the taxi. Let's go to the wedding ready. Ready. Confusing sign zone. Turn straight. <laughs> okay, that was kind of fun. But still stupid. Let's talk to this guy. What you doing? Just hanging out. You stealthily snitch a large, fragrant jasmine blossom. What the hell? That's two people. You've already taken all the jasmine blossoms you could possibly need for one game. Oh, I took one? So I did. We got a jasmine blossom. That, that's nice. So is that two, two little people? Just, uh... Uh, getting a little air, I guess. That was going on. I said it once and I'll say it again. I, I'm powering through this game. Let's be oh, you are not going to pee on me today, dog. You are not going to... Yeah, you get the hell out of here. Let's see if I can buy anything Welcome else. to the come and go. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. No. Shut up. You take the biggins, the most interesting magazine of the bunch. Ooh, biggins. Ooh, his wine. Take some wine. Harvey Steen wine. I don't like it as much as Napa Valley Outhouse. Wait, am I stealing this it stuff? It is a bouillant and syrupy. What do I pay? Him? Oh, I'm paying him. There you go. Thank you. It's a good now thing I didn't just try and leave again. There is no shot in the side of the head. I guess uh, we're going outside. Where's the homeless guy? I was going to give him some wine. Man. I'll go inside and come back out again. Welcome to the never shut up. Thank you. There he is. Let's talk to him. Oh, very nice. Mouthwash is cheap. Look into it. You're a jerk. I'm gonna give you wine anyway. Here you go. He likes oh, it. Oh, look. Harvey Steen wine. You shouldn't have. Thanks for thinking of me. You're more than welcome. Well, you helped me out a lot of that damn casino. Hmm. Syrupy. And reminiscent of a Manischewitz cream red Concord. I think I'll share this with my friend Chris. <laughs> Maybe you know the guy. Kind of this tall, about this wide, brownish hair. I don't think I know him. Used to be a cabin boy. Lives next to mm -hmm. the toilet in Lefties. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, anyway, the fat drunk here's guy. Here's a thank you from me to you. Is he gonna give me some? The hell is that? One of my prized possessions that I don't want. A genuine French army knife. Wow, Ooh, all thanks. right. I wouldn't count on it in a fight, if you know what I mean. Thanks again. A French army knife. Okay, well, we did our good deed for today, so, um... Uh, oh, no, 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 not today. Oh! What's this? The club? Are we going dancing? Yeah, we going dancing. Your breath is like sewage. Just say it. God's sake. Is this really a thing you have to do in this game? Like, it's so annoying. How's about letting me in? Snazzy. Show me your pass. I'm not sure I have one. Nobody gets in without a pass. Those are the rules. Move along. Don't make me tell you again. Thank oh. you for leaving. Did we... Oh, we found a pass, but that doesn't look like us. <laughs> the disco pass knows you're not who that pass says you are. What? Here you go, sir. The bouncer takes the pass and scrutinizes it as closely as his overhanging brow will let him. Hmm. You're Rabbi Cornswig? That's um, me. Okay. It actually worked. Welcome to Club 69. Thank you. Shalom. Thank you, my good man. Now we dance. Ooh. Let's go 
top of this lady all by her lonesome. How you doing? My word, you are gorgeous. I'll use my absolute best line on her. I'll introduce myself suavely. I'll pull out one of my all-time classics. I'll ask her about herself. Chicks dig that. I think I'll check out the other actions. She might like it if I learned her name. Yeah, yeah, name first. So, uh, what's your name, beautiful? Fawn. Somehow you knew that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, Toots. My name is Larry. (laughs) My name is Lawrence. Say, Larry, is that a Pez dispenser in your pocket? Or are you just lonely? They're not mutually exclusive. It's a little bit of both. I'll ask her about herself. I'd really like to get to know you better, Fawn. Just what kind of girl are you? I'm just a girl who can't say no. All right, Larry, this is what you've been waiting for. To nice presents. Oops. Uh, Let's leave? What if I take you away from here, Fawn? To someplace quiet. We could go to my place. Assuming you had a place. Yeah, I was gonna say we have a place. Sounds fun. Just as long as you're not cheap. I prefer men with means. Means? What kind of means? I like what any woman likes, Larry. I like flowers. I like sweets. I like jewelry. Can you get me those things, Larry? Can you get me everything I need to feel luxurious? We have those free. things. I'm totally ready to give you everything you always dreamed of. Everything? And more. You see, I'll do anything for the right man, Larry. Anything. Really? Are you the right man, Larry? Oh, I'm the right Are man. Are you going to be the right man? For I'm gonna me? be. Oh, I'm gonna be the right man tonight? for you. Oh I'm gonna be my! The, I'm gonna she be the right certainly man for has you tonight. standing at attention. Could Fawn be the one, Larry? Your yep. one-way ticket to fulfillment. You gotta run. I got stuff okay, to find. Okay, baby. I'll be back soon with presents. So, oh, here we go. Okay. She wanted flowers. Oh, Larry. I just love roses. Well, it was in my pocket. Or it was in my suitcase that I'm carrying around in my pocket. She wanted sweets. We got a half-eaten box of chocolates. Nothing says romance like a half-eaten box of chocolates. Oh, Larry. I just love candy. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Tell me, who doesn't like... She wanted jewelry? We're gonna get married? Oh, Larry. I just love diamonds. Who doesn't? Who doesn't like diamonds? Oh, Larry. I just love your presence. Something's happening. Dance with me, you adorable fool. We're gonna dance. We're gonna get our groove on. Oh, here we go. Larry just demanded that dance floor. Oh, snap! I can do that. That's my specialty right there. Did we kill her, or, uh... Oh, you sly pooch. Look at this guy! He was born to dance. And the crowd goes wild. Oh, yeah. I hear clapping. I don't see any, though. I've never done that with a man before. It was so... Exhilarating. Are you as turned on as I am? Always. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I hope. Then my answer is yes. Oh, God, yes. Yes, Larry, I will. You will what? Why, marry you, of course. After all, I could never be with a man who wasn't my husband. Only if we were together in the eyes of the entire world could I really give myself to you completely, utterly, heart, soul, and body. I'll also need $200 to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesar's Phallus. I'll wait for you here. Once you've got the money, we'll rush over to the wedding. What the hell's going on? And at long last, we can be husband and wife. Holy cow, Larry! It looks like this your is dreams are so about fast. to come true. I I guess so. We're also getting married, though. We're, I guess we're going for it. Take my wallet. You give Fawn your wallet. All right, two hundred dollars. Thank you, my sweet. Is that all I had in there? I'm going to the casino right now to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesar's. 
Then I'll meet you at the wedding okay. ready next to the casino. Don't be late, my love. Oh, don't Four worry. Hand you back oh. your wallet, two hundred dollars lighter, and rushes off. Congratulations, Larry. You're one step closer to connubial bliss. What was it? What was the narrator saying? This is uh, such a bad game. Excuse me, my good man. I have to go get married. I don't give a shit. That leisure suit. Okay. Will... Let's let's go get married. The chapel is oh. cool and placid inside. The, the lilting classical music and softly flickering candles give the room an air of serene, peaceful redundancy. In fact, it absolutely stinks of tranquility in here. Fawn is standing at the ready at the end of the room. She's Next gorgeous. to her is a man dressed like some sort of clergyman. Larry, we're all ready for you. We do have one little thing to take care of, though. It's $100 for the marriage certificate, the ceremony, and the decorations. What? The decorations are extra? If you're too cheap to spring for them, I'll just take them down. Larry, I am no not too cheap there, no, Cletus. No, no, leave them up. I'll, I'll take care of it. Of course you will, Larry. How much money do we have? Let's see. Yo, we got 296 bucks? Yo, let's make it rain. Hot dog. Now we're ready to knock this thing out. Finally! You all settle into basic position. A hush falls over the players at home. Merely beloved. Sorry, let me restart that. Merely <laughs> beloved. <it>. Jim? <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. You know how I get. Dearly beloved. Know each other? We are gathered here today to join this main and this woman. Blah, 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 blah. She better not be a woman. Do you, Lance Lassiter, take this woman. It's Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? I thought you said. Just go. I thought. Do you, Larry, Larry Laffer, take this woman? <sighs> blah, blah. Sickness and hell forsaken and the rest. I. I do. Do you, Fawn Forschwanger? Forschwanger? Take this man to be. To be your Forsch blah, blah, blah. Honor and comfort. Definitely male. taking her last name. Right. Larry Forschwanger. I, mean, I do. You've got the ring. I have to have this another thing I imagine. No, no, no. I've already got the ring. Keep this thing moving. Then by the power invested yeah, in man. me, Jimmy Ted hereby declares you done and done. Congratulations. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm headed down to the wine cellar. It's inventory time again. We're done and done. <laughs> We're done and done. It's beautiful. Employees only. I'm sure y'all understand. Oh, yeah. Fawn throws her yes. arms around you and almost kisses you. Oh, Larry. Almost. Isn't it romantic? What's she talking about? Did something romantic happen here by mistake? I'll meet you at the honeymoon suite, Larry. Ready to give you my all, my everything, my very soul. Don't keep me waiting. I can't wait to take advantage of you. She's not done with that yet? Well, congratulations, Larry. You're a married man. Time to get over to the honeymoon suite and hang a sign on the door. Gone consummating. I'm gonna consummate all night. All day. She sure is taking her sweet time to leave. Okay, all day. Consummate all day. Walk like Larry. Consummate all day. Taxi, I need to go consummate now, please. Caesar's Phallus. Where I will be consummating my wife. Can't talk right now, freaks. Gotta go consummate a marriage. Oh, we're at the honeymoon suite. The door that. Ooh. Romantic. What floor was it? Uh, six? No, don't think it's six. Five? No, one, five. Oh, floor four. Knew it. I knew it. I was just building suspense for when we consummate. 